This is kebaya. A traditional clothing made from brocade or cotton and is usually worn by women in Southeast Asia. Now, just recently, Thailand, Singapore, Malaysia, and Brunei Darussalam have agreed to jointly nominate kebaya as a UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage for the year 2023. But you may wonder, where is Indonesia? This has sparked controversies in the country. However, as a matter of fact, Malaysia actually has invited Indonesia to participate in the joint bid. But then, Indonesia chose to nominate Kebaya as a sole nominee instead. Many netizens even supported the decision and claimed that Kebaya belongs to Indonesia only. Where did kebaya actually came from? Hanya asal usul kebaya itu kan sebetulnya merupakan adopsi, tetapi juga akulturasi dari berbagai eh, baju model baju dari keba kebudayaan yang bermacam-macam dari berbagai negara sebetulnya berbagai bangsa kebaya memang harus kita akui ada di wilayah-wilayah Asia Tenggara yang lain ada di Singapura juga ada kebaya di model-model seperti kebaya Malaysia juga ada Brunei juga ada tetapi yang kemudian dipadu-padankan dengan kain jari dengan wiron dengan gelungan apa tatana rambut yang berupa gelung onde dan sebagainya itu sangat khas Indonesia It is claimed that kebaya firstly came from China to Nusantara in the 16th century through migration and maritime trade. Then, the influence spread out to all of Southeast Asia. In Malaysia, kebaya is better known as kebaya baba nyonya, with the signature broad colors, flowers, and animal patterns. The design itself is similar to encim, the traditional kebaya from Betawi culture. Singaporeans referred to it as a sarong, which was popularized by the uniform of Singapore Airlines flight attendants and was worn with long, tuberous skirt. Satin and velvet are the common fabrics used for colorful kebaya in Thailand. On the other hand, White kebaya is usually made from brocade. In Brunei Darussalam, there are many types of kebaya, but it is usually paired with a lapas fabric, which is made from cotton or silk and interwoven with metallic or gold threads. Last but not least, Indonesia has a very diverse design and pattern of kebaya, but the most common type is the one that came from Java Island, which is made from brocade and worn over batik. Now, we know that each country in Southeast Asia has its own distinctive pattern and design of kebaya. Hmm, doesn't it mean that culture is actually fluid and continually evolving? Well, regardless of that, kebaya will continue to be the noble heritage that shapes the Southeast Asian pride and identity. 
Adelia Dinda and Deep Tadi Wiguna. Per see today.